Hi and welcome. My name is Julianne Cost, and in the next few minutes, we're going to take a look at working with text in the book module. Now, in the first movie, we already covered working with text as far as the text styles, like assigning fonts and adding kerning and letting, when we worked on the cover of this Japan book. And of course, all of that was found right here in the type panel. If we simply click anywhere inside of that cell and select the different characters that we want to affect, we can go ahead and make changes to those right over here. But what we didn't talk about was the difference between photo text and page text. So let's go ahead and move to one of the pages here that has a photograph on it. And you'll notice that there is already photo text here. Now, if I click on the image, it will actually activate the photo text because the text belongs to that photo. And how did we get this text to automatically be entered? Well, this text is actually a title. So it is part of the photograph, it is part of the metadata, and that metadata was entered in the library module. Then when I set the preferences here for the book module, I made sure to fill the text boxes with the title metadata. So it was done for me automatically because my auto layout preset included the photo text. All right, so if you're going to add a caption or a title to any of your images, you wanna make sure that you enter that text in the library module. Let me just point out where that is again, under library, under metadata. And the reason is, is that if you don't enter it here, and instead you come to the book module, and you decide that you want to add page text to this page, this page text is specific to the book module, which means if you go to all this effort adding all of your captions in the book module, and then you decide you also want to make a slideshow, the slideshow isn't going to be able to see all of those captions that you've created. So I prefer to add all of my metadata into the file itself in the library module. Now you might be thinking that there's not very much flexibility with the text cells in the book module, but in fact, there really is. Um, I'm just gonna quickly type a few characters here and tap a few returns just to show you that you can actually add quite a bit of type. And every time you tap return or enter, the cell will actually grow to accommodate however much text you want to add. In addition, you'll notice that I can align this at the top of the page or at the bottom of the page, and there's an offset. So really, I can offset this to be anywhere I want between the top or the bottom of the page. And let's say, for example, that I want to maybe align this text somewhere else within the image. Well, then I can move to the cell options and I can use the padding options. I'll unlink them and then I'll move the left padding slider over to the right so that we can scoot the text to a different area within that cell. And if I wanted to align the text differently, all I'd need to do is select the text, move to my type panel, and then choose the alignment from the options down here at the bottom. So as you can see, there's a ton of flexibility when you're working with text, whether it's your photo text or your page text in Lightroom. My name's Julianne Koss. Thanks for watching.